latest USDA crop progress report shows Nebraska's farmers are 92% complete planting this year's corn crop and 59% finished in soybeans. As growers look to the next phase, Nebraska Extension educator Jenny Reese says there are some who have looked to boost production by using sugar. We talked with Jenny Tuesday near York to learn more about how sugar applications can impact a corn or soybean plant. Well, farmers were looking at ways to increase their yields, and so they looked to other farmers to see what they're doing. And one of those farmers was Kip Kohler's, and he applies sugar with his corn and with his soybeans and does this in a variety of ways in his program. And so farmers were looking at, will this add yield in my program too? So how are they using it, and how are you studying it within the state? Okay, so we have Nebraska on-farm research growers who've been doing this since 2010, so 2010 through 2014. We only have a handful that have been trying this in York, Clay, and Knuckles counties. And basically what we've done is we use the same rates that KIPP does because we haven't had any research to try any other rates. And so what we do is um, we apply three pounds of sugar per acre in 10 gallons of water. Sometimes this is applied with glyphosate, sometimes it isn't and it's applied at V7 to 8 or 7 to 8 leaf corn and also Milo last year for the first time and also R3 or beginning pot on soybeans. What do the results show? So the results from 2010 through 2014 show that in soybeans we consistently saw a yield increase but it wasn't always statistically significant. In the corn and the Milo we a couple years did not see a yield increase and the years that it was a yield increase, it wasn't always statistically significant. Outside of yield, are there any noticeable benefits that you're seeing in the plants? In the plants itself, what we noticed in the corn and also in the milo is um, some potential improved stock rot or um, lodging. And so because of that, we actually had one grower who knows that a lot of farmers, they apply fungicides to their corn to increase stock quality at harvest. We know that that works. And so one grower wanted to compare sugar application to the fungicide application in corn and see, you know, were there any differences in stock quality at harvest? So the research results from his fields, as well as small plots from Dr. Tamar Jackson Zims, who did this at UNL South Central Ag Lab, all of those results show that there was no statistical difference in the stock rot or lodging um, between the sugar-treated plots and the fungicide-treated plots. Are there any benefits to insects that uh, are also in the field? There's several studies that have been done through the years. Um, showing that there's consistently when applying sugar water or basically a sugar water solution to crops it increases beneficial insects in the field and that's been proven time and again in the literature. So is there a reason why this is happening? We don't really, well regarding the beneficial insects the entomologists in the literature felt like it was just it was they call it artificial honeydew in a way, so it's almost, it's another sugar feeding substance. In analyzing gut contents of lady beetles and other beneficial insects, they found that lady beetles needed um, a sugar substance. Also, they find that in nectar and so forth as well. What about the stock quality and the yield? The stock quality, we don't really know what's going on there. We don't have enough research to demonstrate what's going on there. There's recent research showing that sugar can play a role in signaling pathways within the plant. And so there's been some recent research in rice showing that application of sugar before infection by a pathogen in rice would elicit a response in the rice to basically um, help the plant fight against the pathogen and prevent disease. So that's some really recent research and we haven't obviously looked at any of those effects in Nebraska, but we are interested in having more growers try the sugar study because we, again, only have a handful of growers in three counties. So if, we, if any of your viewers are interested in trying this, we do have a protocol on our CropWatch website and all of the results from these studies are on our CropWatch website at cropwatch.unl.edu. 
On the CropWatch website, you can read Jenny's recent article on sugar use in corn and soybean production. As she noted, it includes more information about research results and other studies using sugar products. The Nebraska On-Farm Research Network is sponsored by the Nebraska Soybean Board, the Nebraska Corn Growers Association, and the Nebraska Corn Board.